Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Excel Bytes with today's Excel Bytes tutorial. I recently had a request from a client who had a long list of alphanumeric items and wanted to know how to filter that data based on the fact of whether those items in that list, whether the first character was a number or whether it was a letter. So we're going to see how we're going to do that today in Excel. But before we jump into that, please take a minute to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Make sure you hit the bell icon so you will get a notice whenever I put out a new video. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also find me at any of the social media sites you see here. So now let's check out today's topic. So here's our scenario. I have this list of 40 items and they're alphanumeric items with 10 characters. And the first character might be a letter or it might be a number. And I want to be able to filter this list by the fact of whether that's a number in the first position or whether it's a letter. And to do that, we're going to use a helper column. So I'm going to go into cell M1 and just type helper. And I'm going to use a formula equals left, select my text, look at the first character, and hit enter. Now in this case, that's an F. I'll copy that down, and I get F, H, T, 7, etc. But notice everything's justified to the left, which means it's treating it all as text. So to deal with that, I'm going to take that formula and multiply it times a 1. And in doing so, and when I copy it down, I either get a value error or I get an actual number justified to the right. I get a value error because you can't multiply a letter like F times a number. Now if I want to clean that up, all I have to do is wrap that formula in an if error function and instead I'll put a blank at the end and anytime there's a value error I'll get a blank. Now all I need to do is I put on my filters and then go to the filter in the helper column and if I remove blanks I'll just have a list of all the items that begin with a number 7IS 0268 2P1, etc. Or if I want a list of the ones that begin with a letter, I can just select the blanks, say OK, and now all the ones listed are the items that begin with a letter. And that's how you can do that in Excel. So thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so to any of the social networks you see here. Thanks a lot, have a great day, and happy excelling.